Hi, and welcome to the two minute video presentation of the home automation interface. Going to the main menu, you would see six different choices. Going to security, you'll be able to control your doors and your locks. See the status of your motion sensor, smoke sensor, or flood sensor. Pressing on the house will bring you back to the main menu. Going to entertainment will allow you to watch TV, movies, and music. Also, uh, under the TV, you'll be able to adjust the volume, input manually the channel, or choose the channel by genre. Pressing the back button will take you to the previous page. To watch movie, you can go to the library, select a preloaded set of movies, click on the movie to watch. You get to control uh, how the movie uh, plays out by fast forward, rewind, pause, or stop, play or stop. For lighting, you get to control all your lights in your whole house. Uh, pressing on the arrow key will allow you to scroll through each page. And of course, the light bulb would show you the status. For example, this one will, allow, will need you to replace the kitchen light bulb. Going to shades and current will allow you to control the shades and currents of the whole house. Going to thermostat will allow you to select the mode you want the thermostat to be operating in, Fahrenheit or Celsius. And of course, the center heating can be put onto auto, cool, or heat. The fan as auto, on, or off. You may see the current temperature, and also that you could set the desired temperature. And if you have different scenarios that you want to preload, this can be placed into the activities and uh, loaded up with a touch of a button. And last but not least, each page you will notice that. There's a panic button that you can press that will dispatch the police, medical, or fire services to your current location and hopefully save you. And this concludes our video presentation. We hope to see this home automation interface in the near future. Thank you.